don't know about you guys, but I am on my seat, shoot, sometimes 20 hours straight a day, and they end up getting pretty sore. So, just like there's so many things that we do with our folding chair, there are so many things that we could do with this little tennis ball, and releasing foot pain is one of them. All right, now, we're going to use the same rules as we apply to a foam roller. When we find an area that is overly sore, that's a hot spot, spend a tad more time. Now, the tennis ball, because they're doing pressure points and pressure releases, we don't want to spend a lot of time, even though it feels good, it will work against you in the long run. So this should be gentle and kind of fast. Now, it doesn't matter which foot you start on, you want to start both of them the same way regardless if one is more sore than the other. You want to sit in a hard chair, and we're going to come to the, the very edge of your seat. Just like always, it is overly important, even though we're rolling out, that we have good posture. Again, one of the reasons why I love using the car table chair is because you can ground yourself out on it and not have to worry about things too much. All right, we're going to start on the heel. Now, it is a gentle, gentle. You don't want to plow out, and you're just going to make larger circles until you get to this part of the arch of your foot. And it doesn't matter which way you go. I like doing them both. And we're going to go forward or backward on the arch of the foot now. Mine is hella sore, so I'm just going to do a little bit of pressure. And you want to roll the whole arch of the foot and then right behind the toes. Okay, we're gonna move that side of the foot. And you're gonna go back to the arch. Now, if you find a place that's overly sore, that's your hot spot. Let's spend just a little time on there, but do not increase the pressure. All right, let's do the other side. Start at the heel and go in your circles and start working down. When you get to the middle of the arch of the foot, start going forward and backward. Oh. Keep your posture. Now it's legal to move your leg. You wanna contort the leg because you're trying to get the foot and you're grounded so it's not like you're flopping around. You can't do anything wrong. Go behind the toes. side of the foot, and then back on that arch. That's it. Do not spend any more time on that ball. Now, to end it, we're going to cross right over left, and using your hands, not your feet, not the muscles in your feet, your feet should be nice and loose, so if, you, if I came over to your foot right now and whacked it up, it would move on its own. So we want to take your hand and gently... Get a nice stretch on the top of the foot. Again, mark your pressure and get into your posture. And now let's push back. Other foot. I would highly recommend this every night. It's super fast. You can do this while you're watching TV. Do this in the morning, whenever you have time, but only spend this little amount of time per foot, all right? Because I want you to be able to feel really good and quick healing. If you put too much pressure on those feet, it's not going to do well in the end. All right, until next time, put this in your toolbox, and I'll see you later.